Hello! Today we're making chocolate truffles. This recipe is time consuming, but surprisingly really easy. So first up, we're going to pour one cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips and an entire 11.5 ounce bag of milk chocolate chips into a large mixing bowl. Next, in a small saucepan over medium-high heat, we're going to bring 3 quarters cups of heavy cream to a boil and add in 15 to 20 drops of essential oils of your choosing. For minty oils, I suggest using less while citrus oils you want to go heavier on. This round I used tangerine and by the end I felt I could have still used more. It's very hard to use too much citrus oil when cooking because the flavor is actually pretty light in the finished product. Once we have our mix boiling, we're going to pour the hot cream over the chocolate chips and let it stand for a minute. Then stir until the chocolate is completely smooth. Cover the bowl with plastic wrap and refrigerate for 45 minutes or until it thickens. Once our time is up, we're going to take it out, remove the wrap, and stir the mixture for 10 to 15 minutes or until it lightens in color. When filming, I forgot this part, it definitely made scooping the chocolate out harder. And speaking of that step, we're going to scoop the chocolate out about a teaspoon at a time and round them into little brown balls. Place them onto a parchment lined baking sheet. They don't need to be pretty or perfectly round right now, so don't spend too much time on this phase because it isn't going to happen. After all of the chocolate is now on the baking sheet in semi-round form, we're going to let them chill in the fridge again for at least 10 minutes. Now that our 10 minutes is up, we're going to gently roll each blob into nice smooth balls. Your hands will be pretty brown by the time this is over, but don't worry, it gets better. Once we have our smooth balls, we're going to take our thing of one pound of chocolate candy coating and follow the packaging's instructions to completely melt it. Dip each chocolate ball into the candy coating and push around until they're completely covered in the coating. Allow the excess to drip off and place it back on the parchment paper. Let them all stand until the coating has set and store them in an airtight container in the fridge. As you can tell, it does make quite a lot of truffles, so have fun giving them away to friends, families, or your new teacher. Or eating them all by yourself. I'm not judging. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe so you can see more from me. I put out new videos every week, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!